Welcome, my dear friend, to this reflection number nine on celebrating God. In this reflection, I want us to reflect on how we can celebrate God in our patriotism, love for our country. I would want you to ask yourself this one question. Every Friday, every Saturday, and every Sunday, all houses of worship are full, including other days in the week. But then, evils in this country are still being perpetuated. Corruption is still thriving. Killings still happening. Lad grabbing and grabbing of other things still happening. What is wrong? And if you ask me, I will tell you that we do not love our country the way we ought to be. To be able to celebrate God in our patriotism, there are so many things that we must refuse. But one among them is refusing to be divided. Kenyans cannot be enemies to one another. Kenyans have never been enemies. We must refuse to be divided. We must know that we belong to one another. We are brothers and sisters. Yes, we may not be sharing the same political ideology. We may not be belonging to the same tribe. We may not be subscribing to the same faith, but we are Kenyans. I want you to know, my friend, that as Kenyans, we cannot be enemies. We can't. We can only be different in so many things. But as enemies, no. Once we realize that, then we know that we have a duty and a religious responsibility of protecting our country. Number two, we will know that we have a duty and a religious responsibility of distributing the available bread. Once we realize that we cannot be divided, then we must also know that we are one family. One family. And this one family has values. We need to ask ourselves, when did I wake up one day and think of my country first? In all situations, does my country come first? Because I can tell you as your priest, the day that country Kenya will be number one in all that we are doing, so many evils happening in this country, starting with the one called corruption, they will go. We must stand out as Kenyans, one country, one people, one family, again, with a common origin and a common destiny. Men and women who are intent on distributing the available bread, not busy privatizing the public bread. That way, we can demonstrate to the world that we love this country and we are ready as Christians, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, mention them, we are ready to celebrate God in our patriotism. We have only one country. We must protect it. Thank you. As we do that, again I promise you my prayers. And I remain your priest and servant, Father CK. Thank you.